everybody has a gun. In this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit more about for loops. But before that, I want to teach you something real quick, just in case you don't know. So, in, po in programming, you can add a value to itself, right? So let's say you have a variable here called total, and it's equal to 10. If you say that total is equal to total plus total, that simply means that this 10 value is going to be added to this 10 value. So that's 10 plus 10, and it's going to be stored in total. Not only stored, but it's going to overwrite the previous value of 10, and it's going to change it into 20. So let's print this out so you can understand what I'm saying. There you go. So the, value, the new value is equal to 20. And with that knowledge, we're going to make a for loop that adds all the numbers between a certain range to themselves. So let's say I want to add all the numbers between 0 and 10, including 0. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up until the number 9. Okay, so I'm not going to do it uh, step by step. I'm, I want something to do it for me. I want something that repeats. Then I'll go for a for loop for i. The iterator we call her mystique right for i in range this range is going to start from zero and since i want to stop at nine then i'll go a step beyond nine which is ten because we don't include the upper bound and we have our colon not the semicolon but a colon and then we do something here right we're supposed to do something now there is something we need to think about, right? How do we add them together? Well, simply we need to add a variable like we did before called a total. And let's start at zero, right? And then with every iteration, let's add i to the total. So what's happening here is basically we take whatever number from this range and we keep adding it to the total and then overwriting the total. And then we do that again, adding it to the total and then overwriting the total. So let's have a look at the total before and after this operation in every step. Okay. Okay. Let's have a, like a, a separator between them so we can understand what's, uh, what's going on between every loop. Okay, great. So if you look on the right hand side, at the beginning, it starts out with zero and zero, because zero plus zero is zero. And then in the second loop, the second loop, you, you know, it's the second loop when you have these lines right here. Okay, it starts out as zero. And then we add one to it. And then zero plus one is equal to one. And the, and the third one, it starts out as one, and then we add two to it. And one plus two is equal to three and so on and you go until you find that the final value is equal to 45 and that's basically it that's how you add a range of numbers of your choice using a for loop this was an optional exercise i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one